If it looks like a Division I sport and sounds like a Division I sport, Who is X? Who is X? then it must be a Division I sport. We're not a NCAA Division I program. Except for club sports just like LSU lacrosse. But unlike volleyball and soccer, lacrosse faces a unique problem. Honestly, uh, down here not a lot of people even know what it is. But for a sport so obscure in the South, it has quite the background at LSU. Well, first of all, the history at LSU is we're actually in our 41st year playing lacrosse, and a lot of people don't realize that. Um, the difference is... The lacrosse club's tenure over the years can be attributed to passionate players, especially those from outside the state. If we didn't have guys coming from up north wanting to play, we probably would have ceased to exist. Up there, everyone plays it, everyone loves it, and just everyone does it. Yet recently, lacrosse in southern states has shown continuous growth, says head coach Jeff Eccles. But the difference in culture isn't just between the north and the south. It's within the club itself. When I uh, became the head coach this past summer, one of the commitments that I made to the team was that we were going to run this team like it's a varsity sport. And I told the guys from day one it was going to be like that. But for players like David Escott, the classification doesn't even matter. I'm not going to go play varsity football for LSU or anything like that. So. I play lacrosse. I want to compete as long as I can at the highest level that I can, so I'm going to compete until, I'm, until my four years are up. And for now, the club level is more than enough. Morgan Beard, Tiger TV Sports. LSU! Tigers!